Hey guys, I'm Chesapeake. This is Chesapeake Hammock and Outdoors. And today's video is going to be on the Snug Pack Antarctic Mat. And what it is, is it's a non-inflatable sleeping mat that's filled with their Softy Premier insulation. It has their Paratex Light fabric on both sides. And it also has Velcro around the edges so you can attach two together and double the thickness or make an improvised sleeping bag or you know like a cape or whatever you want to do to add two of them together um, as far as weight and size go it's weighs 20 ounces its length is 73 inches and the width is 27 inches so to give you a good idea its size here's my ecotech insulated pad and I'll slide it down a little bit so you can see the extra width it gave me in the Ridge Runner last night. And I'll slide it down so it's right here where the hump is for your head. And it comes right to the end of the Ecotech pad. So I have plenty of length, extra width, and then when I get in to, to show you how it looks when you lay down, you'll see that it kind of wrapped up the sides of me, giving me that extra protection on the sides where the pad wouldn't. So if my arm fell off the side of the pad or, or I lay with my knee out to the side, it would be on the insulation. As far as insulating without a pad, Snug Pack claims that it's built for that purpose to be used instead of an inflatable pad. But as we all know, laying on insulation compresses it and you don't get any insulation properties. I can't, I haven't used it on its own yet for a whole night, but I can say that I laid out here for about 15 minutes with no pad underneath in the Ridge Runner and I, my butt wasn't cold. And it was in the mid to upper 20s. So, you know, take that however you want to. But, you know, I don't know how it would, how it would last all night laying on it, compressed. If you had a sleeping bag also, it, you, it might be able to work because then you'd have the extra insulation on the sleeping bag compressed on top of this, which fully lofted. It's about an inch thick, I'd say. Hard to tell here, but it's about an inch thick. Um, it is really soft. And despite that, it stayed in place really well on top of the Egotech pad and the snug pack base camp ops in inflatable pad as well i went with this one last night because it's insulated and the snug pack pad is not i'll have a review coming up on that uh, this weekend also so let me hop in here and i'll show you uh just how it looks laying inside it i'll give you a view from the head end here so you got plenty of coverage and laying in it it really fills the voids in the pad, this pad, as well as the Snug Pack air pad, and it has longitudinal chambers. So I didn't feel the pad underneath of me at all. It almost felt or acted like a mattress topper on your, uh, you know, your mattress in on your bed at home. So let me kick my Crocs off and I'll show you how it looks. Bear with me for just one second here as I hop in. It's stayed in place really well so far. I'm about three quarters of the way down on the hammock. And now I'm laying in it and you can see that it stayed in place fairly well. Obviously a little bit of adjustment will have to be made because it is on top of a pad. So there we go. I'm laying right on top of it and uh, it's really, really comfortable. Um, just sliding back now. Got my head on my snug pack, snuggy pillow. And you can see how it really gives you that little bit of extra that I wouldn't have. Even though this pad does kind of wrap up on the sides a little bit, for me anyway, because I'm a little bit on the smaller side. Um, it gives you that little bit extra where, you know, you wouldn't have it 
Uh, last night I used this, both of these, combined with my 20 degree burrow. And I also tried out the Snug Pack Fleece sleeping bag liner for part of the night. And all of that mixed together, I really didn't have any problems of twisting or getting all caught up in different stuff. This stayed in, in place really well and it didn't slide on the pad. And since it is so smooth, I found myself being able to slide around on top of it without it moving underneath of me, which is a big plus. Um, you know, like I said, it, it really gets rid of the feeling of the, the bumps underneath on the pad. Even pressing down on it, it's really hard to tell. The insulation really fills it. So, on its own, I got some more testing to do. Um, but as far as with a, with a pad, it's great. I, I think it's really going to excel in that category. Um, because the insulation that's inside it and the fabric, the proprietary fabric that they use, Snugpack claims that it has really good wicking properties. So use on its own or with a pad, it'll pull moisture off your back and, you know, into the pad. Or if it's on the ground, you might notice the ground underneath of the pad is wet or damp, but it'll keep your back dry. I can attest to that claim. I do have a lot of snug pack insulation and I have pretty good experience with their fabrics and their fabrics and insulation do wick very well. So I'll lay back here and give you another look. It's very, very comfortable. Um, even with the pad. So let me hop out. I'll show you the bag. It comes with a standard snug pack compression sack. It's got good wide webbing, nice buckles, drawstring at the top, and just like all their other insulation, on the bottom is printed the specs. It's UK made. Here's a look at the back of the tag. So that's the Snug Pack Antarctic mat. And I've got a couple other videos I'm going to shoot today. I've got the Snug Pack Base Camp Ops inflatable pad with the built in foot pump. I'm going to do a video on today, as well as the Snug Pack Base Camp Ops Expedition 10 degree sleeping bag. And a few other goodies from Snug Pack and DD Hammocks. Like this ground sheet right here. This is from DD Hammocks. It's their Magic Carpet XL. It's waterproof. It's got ribbon on the sides so you can stake it down. It only weighs a couple ounces and it's really big. So it's perfect to put under your hammock or to use as a footprint for your tent or anything really. So I'll do a quick video on this as well. So. I'm, I'm Chesapeake, there's a quick look at the Snug Pack Antarctic mat, if you have any questions or comments let me know, and as I do some more testing, I'll uh, update or make another video, so here's a view if you can see it, it's a chilly morning, it got down to 17 degrees last night, and I was plenty, plenty warm obviously with the the insulation i was using but more importantly i was comfortable so i'm going to use it in a tent on the ground with the snug pack pad and then we'll if that works we'll throw it in a couple different hammocks on its own and see how it really works so i'm chesapeake and i'll see you guys next time